So I'm now here in the cellar of our manufacturer and uh, I want to show you this is the this is the electric absorbers that are in the wall of this room where I'm going right now. It's uh, electrically conducting foam and now I'm going into the electrically isolated room that we have here and uh, I close the door. So this is completely isolated, it has everywhere um, metal plates and then in those boxes is this electric absorber and uh, there's some testing antennas here for example and here's my good friend Eckhart, maybe a little dark here because we have only one light to not pollute here the electric environment with some um, electric radiation. So now we have set up our regular um, set up with the mat here on which I will stand and has an electric uh, insulator under it and um, here is the, our grounding electrode so those two electrodes are connected to the laser which is down here and we have it packed in aluminium foil also to, to take away any possible electromagnetic radiation that comes from this device and also the power supply is shielded now and we have an oscilloscope here on the on the table also just battery operated to not pollute our environment with some electromagnetic radiation so I'm going on to this mat now and let's look what happens you see my hand is here <laughs> Yes, and yeah, I take the hand away. So you see, it happens even in a electromagnetic sh shielded room. That means it's not an antenna function that I would just absorb radiation from the environment. It's another effect of an interaction of the body with energy. And I'm saying this is not something of subtle energy. <laughs> it's an electric effect, but this is an effect that we have everywhere in nature because we can see it's even happening here in an electrically insulated room and of course it will be even stronger in a environment where there's all the electromagnetic radiation and as we saw in the video it, de it depends on the people so it's not one effect that is the same just based on distance. It's not based on the size of, the, of your body. It's not based on age. It's based on something else that we still do not know, uh, but that is apparently an, an aspect of our uh, energy, of our aliveness. So it's the first time that we make this kind of tests in a really in a, in a shielded environment that is per perfect for these kind of experiments. So, thank you, Eckert. Thank you. <laughs> so I show you now a distance measurement. You see, I, sh I come closer now, and here, okay, a resonance, of course. I'm coming closer with the camera, and I have a meter stick here, an old meter stick. <laughs> so I can show you, actually, it's touching the electrode here, the fabric electrode, and then I, I move my hand down here, and you see here already, it's giving a resonance. If I go up, back up here, again it stops. Go down again here, okay, here a resonance, going up again, okay. It's very reproducible, and it depends again on, on my momentary form. <laughs> But you see, I can make it very reproducible. See here, it comes on. So now I look at this, and this is one meter and thirty, one meter and thirty here. And uh, but I could do it sometimes up to three meters distance. And you see, the stick is touching, but it's not making a connection. It's not the connection. It's not the distance of an object. It's the distance of 
a body, a human part of the human body that makes the difference. It's not a motion sensor, <laughs> not a distance sensor. See, and I come close, and again here is the resonance. So I'm now again in this isolated room, and we make another experiment <clears throat> because, of course, could be the possibility that it's me just resonating to all the electromagnetic frequencies around in the environment and that I'm just reinforcing this with <clears throat> this circuit but we'll see here that this is not the case we have here an equipment <clears throat> that can um, radiate very high power of uh, uh, it's a little bit dark here a little bit uh, very high power it's an antenna you see the shadow in the background it's an antenna where we can put out 30 megahertz up to one gigahertz with very high power and I'm standing right in its field <clears throat> and I'm going now on this mat which is insulated and you can see here and I put my hand already uh, in about one and a half meters I have this resonance effect here so okay Eckert I'm ready for the first Ready for 13 megahertz. Okay. So, you see, it doesn't change at all. The, the resonance distance is the same, and it was working even without any frequencies in the room. Next step. Ready for 100 megahertz. Okay, now we go to 100 megahertz. And you see, I don't change my hand. It's still there about the ceiling level. And... Okay, next step. Ready for 500 megahertz. Okay, 500 megahertz. Now this is right from my back, only four meters. And again here, my hand and resonance effect just the same distance. No change at all. Okay, next step. Ready for one gigahertz. Okay, now we do the last one. One gigahertz. And again, the same the same resonance effect and this is a very scientific proof that it's not an antenna effect not an effect based on just taking some external frequencies because here we have a, a, a definite environment where we can where we can generate an artificial uh, electromagnetic field of a definite kind and we don't see any any distance difference So now we do here with a uh, capacity meter of very, very high quality one capacity meter and we are now uh, seeing if here capacity changes are happening and as you can see coming now very close. I'm doing all my filming myself that there's nobody else in the room to 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 disturb the measurements and again that's in the pick of ferret uh, realm and again we don't have any any uh, capacitive uh, effect here so again that's also another capacitive effect and um, okay let's let's do another another test I want to show you how far Actually, I can go away from here, from the um, mat, without this creating this resonance so effect. In this room here, all the sides are metal, and uh, I'll show you right now. I have here, down here also, the integrator and the laser are isolated with foil. And I just, I just move now, just move my belly and resonance happens. I stretch my belly <laughs> and put energy in my, in my base center <laughs> and you see the resonance immediately. In here and exhale. 
Inhale. And exhale. This is really an amazing, powerful way to show that we inhale and our <clears throat> biofield expands. Never any time before something like this has been done under really strict scientific, scientific uh, conditions.